You were intimidating before this glow up, before this ascension, and now? Hi guys, and welcome back. Today's download, you, ooh, Cinderella fell on the ground. You guys got these karmics so riled up. Like, I got this download while I was driving. I was like, I need to pull over and write this down. You guys got these karmics all riled up. You are a cosmic bombshell. You are stopping traffic. These karmics are snap they're snapping out of denial. They can't keep up with you. You have become stronger since they've last seen you. Comment down below, I feel amazing. Comment down below, I stop traffic. I am a cosmic bombshell. I love what I do. Run and tell that in the comments. Cinderella fell down below. So you guys have really developed into who you are and you have a very strong idea of who you want to become. In the pre-poll, I got the Queen of Swords, the star, the seven of pentacles, the six of swords, and the king of pentacles. Whoever this, these karmics are, you are very familiar with them. They could be family. They could be coworkers. I feel like it's both. I feel like the karmics that you're dealing with currently are your coworkers and your family members you don't really, you know, mess with. So you've grown since your last encounter with whoever these people are. I about fell out of my seat when I was going over the downloads and then I did the pre-pull, the accuracy of it all. So comment down below what's going on, first of all, that you got all of them breaking their necks to see what you're doing. You're accomplished now. First, you were Cinderella. Everyone underestimated you. And now they're like, wait, what are they doing? So not only are they breaking their piggy bank to copy and emulate what you're doing you guys are starting to notice that they're copying and emulating what you're doing i was hearing uh house decor that's going to be for somebody so if somebody really likes the way that you do your home and they're trying to do it the same they could be passing it off as their own i don't know and so they're breaking their necks to, to peep what you're doing so brace yourself because you're probably going to fall out of your seat too by the time this reading is done. And yeah, there's no scandal that you can't handle. Like Rich Lux would say, there ain't no scandal I can't handle. There's no scandal that you can't handle. They could be trying to create one because since your guys' last encounter, things have changed. They're still trying to keep up with you and you don't even think about them at all. Comment down below. I don't think about them at all. But really, and you're going to see that even though you have them blocked on social media, you're going to be seeing that even though you haven't been talking to them, you haven't been communicating at all, they've still been figuring out ways to peep what you're doing on social media. <laughs> Stalker the house. They've been trying to peep. How are they decorating their house? How are they doing their hair, hair nowadays? Uh, who are they dating? Are they married now? What do their children look like? How much money are they making? They want to know the details of everything and you don't even care. And you're gonna start realizing that, holy shit, they have been stalking me this whole time. You're gonna see all these little things in your next encounter that are gonna tell you that they've been stalking you. They're gonna wear a top like yours. They're gonna have a, a picture frame like you. They're going to, Try to emulate your relationship. Whoever I'm speaking to, if you guys are if you guys are in a divine union, you guys are a power couple. And they have been watching you and they're trying to emulate that. Also, I think I forgot to say in the intro, we're gonna be doing the yellow prayer candle after I go through the downloads to really get into our creativity, our childlike, our jovial state. Um, you can do anything for the solar plexus chakra anything for your inner child just anything so just be thinking about that 
while I'm doing the downloads. So you got these karmics riled up because you're changing. You are always changing. Always. You guys could be a humanitarian or you could be an innovator or both even. And you are about to hit the mother load. Comment down below. I am about to hit the mother load. You're going to move into a state of having a lot of mobility, being able to do what you want, spend how you want, take care of your family how you want, go on uh, certain vacations even. So it looks like to these karmics that haven't seen you in a long time that you've developed a lot more on a bigger scale. It's going to look like to them that you've been booked, you've been busy, you've been really breaking ground. You've been going through a lot of breakthroughs. Comment down below. I am proud of my accomplishments. I enjoy self-improvement. I am in an echo chamber of happiness, period. So you guys are the star. And since they last seen you, you may, maybe you weren't spiritual. Maybe you hadn't gone through a spiritual awakening. Maybe you hadn't met your divine counterpart. Maybe you didn't have your dream job. Maybe you didn't know what your purpose was. And now your standards are high. They were high when they knew you last. You at least had a sense of who you wanted to be, even though 1111 on the clock. You guys had a sense of who you wanted to be. You were just trying to figure out how to get there. Maybe spirituality wasn't involved yet, but now you have power, strength, uh, vigor. You have people that are faithful to you, that support you. You are stepping into your sovereignty and how you care for others. You are like a fine wine. You have been aging and maturing and learning about security, what stability looks like to you. And before you felt like a caged bird, when you knew these people better or when you communicated with them more, you felt like very restricted. Like, oh, I got to hold it together so I don't snap. I don't want them to see me pissed off. And now you have suspended your old way of thinking. You are reprogramming everything. And they're looking at you like, when did this take place? And this has been taking place over time. This could have been months or years that this has been taking place. You are a cosmic bombshell. You have been healing your inner child. And you've been also creating. You've been really busy creating the life that you want. Whoever you guys are dealing with, they were bossy, very narcissistic, very controlling around you. I'll add some story times into this as we pull cards because I can, I can relate to this. You guys are taking back your power because before when you knew these people, family or coworkers, they used to get you riled up. And now it is them that's going to be wound up like a toy. You already knew how to be disinterested in what they were doing, or at least you were playing it off as such, but it really got your gears grinding some of the things that they would do. Now you guys are on the zero fucks category. You're on the zero fucks wavelength. And this is all developed over time, forgiving, letting go, releasing, purging, these people have been avoiding you or you could be avoiding them. And before they used to make you feel very vulnerable, very self-aware. And it's kind of good. It's like that saying, like you learn a lot from your haters. Okay. It's the people that are closest to you that you kind of have to watch out for. It's our haters that are going to give us that criticism that we're like, okay, now I'm going to kick it up a notch. So comment down below. I feel amazing. I develop gifts daily. Duh. I am so excited. I, I There's so much in the pre-pool that I need to like split it up for some of it after the prayer candle as I pull cards. So let's do our prayer. I want you guys to pause the video if you need to while I'm holding the prayer candle. I have already written out my prayer um, in regards to what I would like for the prayer candle. But I'm just so freaking proud of you guys. And this is only going to catapult more success, more happiness, more laughter. 
comment down below. I love laughing. It is medicinal. I love laughing. Oh my God. Let me not light my scrunchie on fire. Let me not do that. Okay. Let me actually stick this candle in here better. So I'm trying to keep track of all the colors that I've been doing for you guys, okay? Anything not the light or the divine plan is no longer welcome here and must leave immediately. Thank you, angels. Thank you, ancestors. And thank you, spirit guides. So I've been trying to keep track of the colors that we've been doing and I don't think we've done yellow yet. So I thought that would be perfect for today's reading. Pause the video if you'd like to. What a beautiful flame. So I'm going to keep this in camera view for you guys. Let's jump in. Okay. Okay. Can you guys see it? You can. You guys have big blessings coming in. So when you guys run into these people next, they're going to see that big blessings have been unfolding in your life. That... In order for you guys to become the boss that you are right now, you had to do major change, major changes. And these came from trials and tribulations. These came from towers. So they knew we got divine union. I'm telling you guys, they are, if you guys are in a union, they are, that is one of the biggest things that they're upset with you about. They think that they deserve to be in a divine union. I can relate to that too. This person is mad because they are not and they don't have the same contracts. They don't have the same uh, agreements. They are not in a marriage. They're not, they don't have that. So you can take that any way that it resonates. Remember what is for you is for you and whatever isn't is for somebody else. So don't try to make it fit. But whoever is in a divine union they're trying to act like they're not interested in having a union like because their person isn't interested if they're with somebody. And then if they're not, I mean, either way, they are jealous of the commitment that you have and how you guys ride for each other. MGK till I die. You two protect one another, especially when these people are around. So they try to avoid you guys because ain't no one trying to take the two of you out. You are very intimidating. You were intimidating before this glow up, before this ascension. And now you're stopping traffic. They can't keep up. When you guys have this next encounter, they're going to see that everything they tried to do, it's like this keeping up with the Joneses energy, that they are powerless against you because they don't have good intentions. These people create a lot of chaos within your family or within your work setting. They try to upheaval everything, get everybody riled up. They want to dominate every situation, every area of life. They just, they don't know when to stop. And they know, and they always knew that you were a born leader. It's like knowing Cinderella was always pretty and she was always going to be something, but there were always, always these people trying to keep her down. And these were those types of people. They were trying to keep you down, trying to make you doubt your abilities, trying to make you doubt the person that loved you. And now they're facing a lot of issues. You guys could have watched my last reading about they don't want to admit that you are a direct threat. They thought it was funny when you were going through these towers. They thought it was hilarious. And now the tower is theirs. So if you guys haven't checked out that reading, you definitely, I mean, I don't like the sound quality in it because I was trying out a new microphone, but it's still a really powerful message. One of the best readings I've ever done. I just am blown away by what came out in that reading and it has good story times, but comment down below. My self-esteem is pure. 
I am proud of my accomplishments. I enjoy self-improvement. And that's the thing with them. These karmics that you're dealing with that they don't want to make amends or whatever it is. They've been watching jealously. They have felt like a hostage. They've been trying to hold it together. They're starting to see clearly. They're really starting to self-assess that they could not paralyze you in any case. They don't feel like they can trust many people. It's actually really sad. They thought they were jealous. Then they're just really starting to realize that things have been on a downslide for them. And they can't hide it anymore. They're consumed by what's going on with you. Because before, when they were just stalking you and creeping you, they were only getting crumbs. They were only getting uh, bits and pieces. And now they are going to be seeing you face to face somehow. And they're just like, wait, what? Wait, what? They're just, they're blown away. They are blown away by this new version of you. Like you, whether you've got the means or not, it looks like you do. And I don't even give a shit if you are in your pajamas or <laughs> nah, you look luxury the house. And these people are gonna try to put you in the middle of some type of scandal or gossip or lie. And there's nothing that you can't handle. There is no scandal that you can't handle. So they're gossiping because they're jealous. Um, and you're just showing a lot of discipline by not engaging. Holy cow. And I feel like for you two uh, guys, when you guys see these people, and again, we're talking about your glow up. When you guys see these people, you're going to feel sorry for them. You're going to feel like, dang, I can tell they're going through financial failure. I've been there. I understand that. But you need to stay in your lane because you thought it was real cute, the house, when I was going through that shit. They try to create a lot of distractions. They try to create a lot of confusion so you don't actually see what's going on in their, their marriage, their relationship, and their finances. And you're not really looking, but you're going to have some type of reunion. We have the Six of Cups. You are going to be seeing these people somehow. This could be at a family event, a work event. Like, you guys are going to have to be in vicinity of each other. And now they're looking at you like, when did they become a mastermind? When did they hit the mother load? When were they able to travel? Comment down below, I am tapping into my craft. And I nourish my passion. They want to plant seeds of doubt with anybody around. They don't want anybody to look at you. They don't want anyone to pay attention to you. And you have moved on. Comment down below. I have moved on. Like these are old beefs. These are old beefs. Whoever this is. This emperor in reverse. They are so angry with you. They are so greedy. They are so angry. And you're like, I've been over that. You have healed. You are provided for. When you guys come through, come through, you are going to have their jaws on the floor. They're just going to be like, because the level that you are at right now, that none of them ever saw coming. None of them. I can't even stress that enough. So I don't know what it is that you guys are doing specifically, but they ain't never seen nothing like it. You are extremely innovative. You are groundbreaking. You are trend setting. You are coming into good fortune. You have nobility and balance. Whatever you have refined, it looks incredible. Comment down below. I am the cosmic bombshell, period. Comment down below. The devil is a liar. It looks like to everyone, all these karmics, I haven't seen you in a long time, that you're more daring, that you got a lot of new shit going on in your life, like some new, new shit. You have all of this freedom. They're trying to figure it out. And you just look amazing. You look amazing. And you could have put on weight. You could have lost some weight. You could have done your hair different. It doesn't matter. You're not doing the most. 
and it looks incredible. You're saying less, you're holding it together, and they're just like, they don't even know what to say. Everything that they've been trying to keep up with is minimal. It's minute in the scale of what you've been really doing. So this is like them trying to copy house decor and your hair color and you got a whole bunch of other shit going on. And when they see you, they're gonna be like, oh, they got a whole business. They bought a boat. They're married. They're pregnant. They're not struggling anymore. I'm telling you guys, you need to check out that reading if you have not already. They, they don't ever want to admit that you are a direct threat. What they really need to do is take a look in the mirror and self-assess. Mm -hmm. We got Drake going bad. If you really want to ball till you fall and your back's against the wall and a bunch of Beckys need you to go away. Still going bad on them anyway. Saw them last night. I did it in broad day. You always had balls, but now it looks less aggressive. It looks less passive aggressive because they used to get you wound up. Now you're coming through with your glow up. The glow up train is here. The clap back tour, the comeback tour is here. And they're like, you just hear the crickets. But literally though, you just, they don't even know what to say because when they knew you, you were always going through it and you could still be going through it, but you handle it like a fucking boss. You handle it like an OG. Before you used to let it paralyze you and like you'd freak out and your life is just different now. And this person, they're just like watching and peeping and, and praying and you're just singing and, and living your best life. And they're clinging on to this old version of you. They're clinging on to the Cinderella version of you sitting by the fire with soot all over your dress. Now you're coming through in some new threads. Now you're coming through with some new hair. Now you're coming through and it's, it's together and it's genuine. Dang. I don't know what you guys are doing, but it looks good on you. Okay. I want to use this tarot deck. These people aren't even going to know what to say. They're not even going to know what to say. Ten of Wands. They've been working hard night and day to look better than you. This is like sibling rivalry energy to me. But I don't feel like they're your siblings. I feel like these are people that are highly competitive with you. In every sense of the word. And it's because you are the triple threat. You are the star. You are the queen of swords. When you guys speak, people listen. Drop your microphones down below. When you speak, people listen. They drop what they're doing. They're like, wait, what'd they say? What did Susie say? So I can relate to this. I've had a lot of family members that I don't, I don't even fuck with anymore. And I used to be really angry when they would do something to one of my loved ones i would get i would go through the freaking ceiling in my family we do a lot of sit downs okay my husband's italian and when there's beefs it's time to have a sit down you feel me and i would have these family members that think that they could just pop off come through and try to create chaos at celebrations or other events and I'm like where, do, where where do they do that at where do they do that at I literally told now I don't recommend this and I don't recommend saying this and this is before my spiritual awakening this is my shadow aspect for sure Decepticon the house because I was pissed and I didn't realize then this was stopping me from some of the success and the things that I wanted to tap into in the future. But I told one of my family members because this was their person. I'm like, listen, 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 listen. Listen, Linda, listen. I don't know 
what she thinks she's doing, okay? But we're definitely gonna have a sit down. And if she ever reaches in front of me again, I'm gonna break her arm. And he's just like, oh. no, but for real, we're gonna have a sit down. Know that. These people really underestimated the fact that you were really gonna kick it up a notch. And how you were able to do that was letting go of these people. We got the chariot. You guys have been moving forward from family members that tried to take a dump on your name and tried to kiki, ha ha, that's happening to Susie. And judgment is here. They see now. It's like peekaboo, they see now. Judgment is here. And they are gonna be so confused they thought that they knew everything. They thought they knew every detail as much as they could f try to muster and find out. Some of them doing it through div divination. They're going to be embarrassed. Embarrassed the house when they figure out that everything that they had assumed. Because you were breaking through and shitting on their opinions, their beliefs, and their assumptions. And they're going to see, well, dang, that didn't get me freaking anywhere. Because now I'm really confused. I thought they were over here doing this and they're really over here doing all this other stuff. So you were the type of person that you use your voice and you're honest. And before it maybe came out very aggressive or like hot tempered. And now it's like very matter of fact, you say less, it means more. You choose your words caref carefully, you're very strategic. And that's what I used to do before these sit downs. I would be hot in the moment of. And then we would have a sit down one or two days later and I would get all of my facts together. Like, okay, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say that. Because who the hell do you think you are? But really though, but really though, so I knew then that my voice mattered and it just stomped on the fuckery. And I was proud of that. I am still proud of that till this day that when I speak, people listen like, oh shit, she's about to stand up for herself. Yeah, you're not going to shit on my family. The people that I have made my family and just be disrespectful. Where do they do that at? So people were people in the family were not ready for some of my sit downs. These are people that I don't fuck with, but I was standing up for the people that I do fuck with. You feel me? So you guys could be having a sit down or they could be requesting one with you. Like, well, I just wanted to talk to you and you're going to have very little to say because you know that it's a catch 22. They're still with the bullshit. And even if they're going to pretend to cease fire, you don't trust them. They have not earned your trust. They have not earned your trust. You have become stronger since your last encounter. We have temperance in reverse. We have the magician in reverse. So you guys know that you're dealing with, and this could even be a lot of family members or a lot of coworkers. You know that they're the trickster. They're full of games. They play mind games, but you're the biggest mind fuck coming through. You are the biggest mind fuck. They heard you were a wild one. They heard you were a wild one and you are, but now you're using that for the things that make you happy. Your ship's coming in, your family, the people you really care for. Wow. You guys have a lot of success coming in. You guys are about to hit the mother load. And what I, the kind of energy that I'm getting as I get confirmation is God wanted you to be blessed in front of these enemies specifically. Like they're in whole like fake relationships. Uh, they're really trying to 
keep up with you. If you guys are a power couple, they're really trying to keep up with you. If um, whatever job you're doing, or however much money you're making, whatever type of car you're driving, I mean, down to the last whatever. So the hangman fell on the ground and you're just chilling. They thought that they could pull you up out of your seat. They thought when they had this next encounter that you were going to be salty that they were in a relationship. They thought that you were going to be um, upset that they got some of their shit together. But it's, it's the magician in reverse. It's a trick. It's a mirage. And you guys are very intuitive and you know that. We got the hierophant in reverse. You're breaking through their beliefs. Okay, let me pick these up. Also, another thing that I'm getting to, you guys, is these people have gained a, uh, some bad habits since you've last seen them. Not that it's, you know, our business, but that's another reason why they're in this other state of anger or a new state of anger. And if you guys um, have a meeting with them or you're about to have a run-in with them, some of them you will either be late for or you will miss because divine timing is at play. Some of them you will be late for or you will miss because divine timing is at play. That's going to be for somebody. Okay, we got the star. You got the star against the queen of wands in reverse. You are always magnetic. You are the cosmic bombshell. You are drop dead galactic. And what makes you amazing is that you know it's okay to fail. I'm going to get back up. Comment down below. It's okay to fail. I will continue to rise. They can't compete with that. Ah, uh, here we go. So, they've always been really nosy, like, trying to get the tea, trying to get the dirt on well, what's going on in your life, like, they're trying to find out by any means necessary what is going on. Whoever you're dealing with, you guys, they have issues. Um, like they have, they might have health issues or they have like mental health issues. Okay, we got the Eight of Swords in reverse. So they're going through some issues and all of this stuff is not helping them. I also got the Four of Cups. So they're in their cups, they're in their feelings about running into you or seeing you because it's making them nostalgic of the beef that you guys used to have. They love the drama. They love trying to create a scandal against you and there's no scandal that you can't handle, period. We got the page of swords telling you guys, you think they were stalking you before. Now they really want to know what time it is. Now they really want to know what's up with you. So they're seeing that you are now glowing. You are like this magnificent, out of this world, angelic. You are an earth angel. Comment down below. I am an earth angel. I am a protected child of God. I love what I do. I stop traffic everywhere I go. They are seeing you now as somebody that has mastered who they are. And you could be thinking, oh, I'm not even close yet. I'm just getting started. You guys know that this is my favorite card. You know what time it is. Your ancestors are on standby. You see the owl in the sky. You guys have the wisdom. You are intuitive. You know the skeletons. You know the details. You have the receipts without them saying anything. 
and your ancestors are behind you like six of swords, like, all right, street lights are out, let's go. Because they're not going to let you, let them pull you up out of your seat. Not never again. So they're just seeing that you're, you're a different person. You have aged gracefully. In fact, you look younger. You're ever changing. You're unconquerable. It looks to them like you are invincible. Like that all they heard through the grapevine that you went through, all the towers they heard that you went through, you shifted them. Like a hockey puck. You chucked it back to the universe. You chucked it back to life. You gave it back to the devil. You released it. You guys are really intimidating right now. <laughs> you guys are really intimidating right now. Your imagination is on 1000. What you are creating is on 1000. You are inspired and setting trends. And these people are trying to cause the moon. They're trying to cause unexpected drama because even though they see that you're stronger, you're still very mysterious to them because you're not sharing information. You're not doing what you were doing before. Maybe before you were gloating, you were bragging, you were like, yeah, I did this. <laughs> and now you're just like, say less, <laughs> okay? That's the vibe that you're giving. Queen of Swords again, the moon, you are unexpectedly the microphone. You are unexpectedly that person. Like people like to underestimate me all the time. Oh, she's cute. She's not smart. And they talk to me and they're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So comment down below. Not my problem. Comment down below. Save the drama for your mama. Comment down below. I am a creative force. I am proud of my accomplishments. I am taking back my power. Period. Okay. Let's see if we get anything else. I'm going to keep this candle going until it's done. Done, done. We got the three of wands again. Everyone can tell that you've been on a journey. And it's making them look at where they lack stability. These people are like, oh my gosh, like I've been with this person this whole time and I don't even like them, but I don't want to look like I'm not alone or I'm not lovable or nobody's going to marry me. They could be trying to force somebody to marry them. They're just trying to post all these things on social media to try to look like we're happy. Look, we're holding hands. They're trying to copy how you pose in pictures. They're trying to copy your relationship, like everything about it. They do not want to admit defeat. Five of clouds. They do not want to admit defeat. Comment down below. Check me. Comment down below. I'm stepping into my sovereignty. I'm stepping into my sovereignty. I am walking away from drama. Comment down below. I am walking away from drama. Eight of cups, eight of raindrops. That's all they're ever going to see is your backside. Because you have really mastered the art of walking away and putting them on the pain o mind list. Because you know that's what pisses them off the most. And also, what I'm also getting is they're not going to be victorious in this drama they're trying to bring you into. If they're trying to agree to disagree or bring you in to co-host or collaborate or whatever this is, I feel like you're just going to be turning your back. Comment down below. Victory is mine. That's all they want to do is make it look like their relationship is better. Their marriage is better. Their business is better. Their money is better. Their children are better. They just want it to be better. They have a lot of fear-based thinking and you've just really grown up since last seeing them. I love that for you guys. Okay, let's pull out one sec. I'll use this one. So 
there anything else coming in? Whoa. These people really don't want you to see them coming, but nothing they do is a surprise to you. Too much time has passed for, and you guys have grown too much for you to even be like concerned. Five of Wands. They're still going to try to compete with you over and over and over and over and over and over again. That's just something they're going to be doing for a long time. Five of Wands. It's that sibling rivalry. That I want to compete. I want to win at all costs. They just want to be the center of attention. They're really mad to have cups that people are really drawn to you. They are naturally drawn to you. You naturally turn heads. You naturally stop traffic. They're snapping out of denial. Like, they're never going to stop competing, but they're snapping out of the fact that they can be victorious over you. Your karmics are beyond riled up. There were a lot of people that underestimated, underestimated me personally. And we got the Eight of Air, the Eight of Swords. And I was stuck. I was like, oh my gosh. Like, I wasn't spiritual then when I was going through a lot of that with like family shit. And I see now that most of all, these people were mad at me because people were naturally drawn to me. And I thought, I just wanted them to be my friend. And I just, I don't understand why we can't be friends. And it's because of this jealousy that they just can't let go of. There were always these spiders around you guys. And now you guys are seeing what it takes for you to feel complete. The world, they don't hold a candle to you. And I feel like you guys have compassion for them like I understand I understand it's not easy to be me it's like kind of like that type of vibe like it's not easy to be me and I hope you you know it's like I hope you figure that out soon I hope you figure out what makes you happy and makes you passionate and glow up so it's not like you don't wish it for them you just wish they just wouldn't give a shit about you <laughs> you wish they would just kind of be like not care and not live their life that way because I know you guys know it's a sad way to live life. Okay? King of Swords again. It's a bad way to live life. They're really they're really jealous of the way that you can communicate and you guys have only gotten better at that. Okay? Um let me give you guys an example. Before when I would communicate, I would think that I was hitting all the right notes, but I could have done it way better. And now that I've evolved more, I'm very proud of the way that I can communicate things. And communicating and how I communicate is very important to me. Honesty is very important to me. So there are a lot of people that you don't mess with because you know intuitively they're not being honest with you. And I had so many sit downs with one certain family member that would just never let up. They would never just break down and say, okay, I'm, I'm jealous of you. Well, I didn't need them to say that, but you know what I mean? Like, tell me you don't like me or tell me you do like me, whatever. Like, tell the truth though. Tell the truth of it. So these people are in their cups and they're in their feelings because you have taken back your power. And they already thought you were powerful. They thought they knew what that looked like. You're about to show them what time it is because you have grown since they last seen you. And whatever scandal or fuckery they're trying to put you in the middle of, that's a no. Divine timing is at play. You guys are protected. Comment down below, I feel incredible. I feel amazing. I am in an echo chamber of happiness. I am rocking the crown that I deserve. I slay every day of the week. There ain't no scandal I can't handle. You, I love healing my inner child. I am a cosmic bombshell. I love honesty. I am powerful. Whoever you guys are about to run into, they about to be shook, okay? They're about to be like, what? This is like going from really struggling 
to just really coming out on top. And then God's like, here, I'm going to put you on display for 0.5 seconds. And all of the karmics and the enemies are like besides themselves. They are gagging. <laughs> I don't think that was appropriate. They're gagging. That's what I meant to say. I was trying to do this. So don't take that in a dirty way. Okay, that's not what I meant. But you guys know what I mean. So I love you guys so, so much. I'm going to let this candle keep blowing. So don't forget to drop what you want to affirm. Let me know down in the comments how it resonates. Thank you guys for all of the cash app donations and all of the super chats. They don't go unnoticed. They're just a lot of comments to go through. Um, I try to go through as many as I can when I have time. And what else? Don't forget to smash the you know what, hit the bell because then you'll miss out if you don't hit the bell. Share this message so we can spread the word and grow our soul tribe. I love you guys so, so much and I'll see you guys in the comments or the next one.